veterans returning from conflicts with different types of trauma involved with being in the military come back and find it difficult to reintegrate into society. They rely on drugs or alcohol and that causes them to have problems with the local authorities. There's Veterans Court for us to help them deal with their unresolved trauma. We use volunteer veteran mentors who act as battle buddies, somebody that's going to be able to help guide them through the court process. The court gives them this opportunity to be open to treatment and to have other veterans they see through example follow this line of progressively trusting the court and moving on with their life and developing a more realistic look at what they had done. I was rear security on the convoy and I was up on the weapon and uh, IED exploded off to the TC side of the vehicle. The debris was across six lanes. About a month later, it was a firefight. We had lost one of our higher level people. Part of you feels like you should be able to, to protect them and you can't always, and then you come back. What she has been struggling with since she left the military is PTSD, anxiety, depression, and survivor's guilt. There's a stigma to going to get help for that. So I would walk up to the front of that VA and I'd see people coming out missing pieces of their bodies. And I'd go, I came back whole. And I'd go right back to my car and go home. She hid that trauma for many years and it's done nothing but hurt herself and her family and her relationships. I was using alcohol and marijuana to numb everything. I have nightmares, I have anxiety, hypervigilant all the time. The anniversary of one of those incidents is July 3rd. Fireworks tend to mess with me. What she did was went into a building with loud music that was going to mask the sound of the fireworks. She wasn't keeping track of how much um, alcohol she had consumed. And made the mistake of getting behind the wheel and there was somebody stopped on the side of the road, no lights on. I hit the back of them at 50 miles an hour and I was taken to jail. I joined the military to help people, to protect them. And knowing that I had hurt people was really hard for me. I fully expected to basically have a book thrown at me by a judge. And when I heard about Veterans Treatment Court, I went, you know what? If it's an opportunity to make something right and to do something that helps me get better so that this never happens again, that's the opportunity I'm going to take. Talking about some of the stuff I'm going through was something that I turned away from. Things I've told Janet, I couldn't tell anybody else. And that's simply because she's not only a fellow veteran, but she's a fellow female veteran who has been through some crap too. I can just sit there and listen. I can sit there and troubleshoot. They genuinely care. They want you to fix yourself mentally and physically and emotionally. She's been able to heal and grow. I haven't felt this in the gut happy in over 15 years probably. And it's because I'm getting treatment for the issues that I've had. I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for this program.